Hello, I'm at 167 Tilden. It's Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022, and I'm going to be heading on upstairs for part three of the move-in walkthrough. As we come upstairs, walls are unmarked and undamaged. Banisters are up and working, all looking fine there. The carpet, just like the rest of the carpet of the property, is showing some wear and tear from age and use. No large damage, but there's definitely some wear and tear. Like I said, walls look good. Banister is up and working. Floor is showing just kind of some general wear. Light works. HVAC return vents right there. All looking good. And we're going to go ahead and start right here with the left bedroom. So left bedroom walls do have, um, do have marks on them. All kind of standard. Um, that looks like there are some old... Uh, like pitcher hangers and stuff like that that are present on the wall. Closet right here, the bifold doors work. And again, I took a picture of all the closets in my move-in report. Wherever you see white wire shelves in the closets, please do not overload. Spread the weight out as best you can. Window right here has screen blinds, all looking fine. Working and operational. And over on this wall, we do have a um, couple anchor holes, four anchor holes that are present. So I just wanted to note that down. Floor in here. Again, showing some wear and tear just from age and use. No real large marks, but just some kind of general wear throughout. All right, next we're going to come on over to the right bedroom right here. Again, walls in here do have a few marks on them. Very light, no damage, just some kind of general wear and tear marks. This window right here does not go up and down. The blinds also do not twist. Again, yeah, definitely have some marks over here in the corner, as you can see. Got some nails present on the wall, but no damage, nothing too out of the ordinary. Floor in here is uh, showing some wear and tear, age and use. No problems, but just some kind of general wear throughout. And uh, right here in the middle, there is a large stain, as you can see. And there's some furniture indentations also present in the corners. There's also some wear kind of around the edge. Around the border here, again, no large damage, but just some general wear and tear. And we will get this uh, vacuumed and cleaned before move in. Next, we're going to come on over to the hallway bathroom right here. So the walls in here look good. There might be a few just kind of like streaky marks on the walls, maybe like a couple like speckled spots. I'm assuming it's from like moisture. As you can see, just a couple streaks down here. But nothing large, we've got some paint marks up here at the top. But nothing out of the ordinary, all looks okay there. The tub right here is definitely showing some wear and tear from age and use. There's lots of marks kind of present throughout. Some marks in the bottom right here. Towel rod is up and working, all looking good. Toilet right here, working and operational. Sink, vanity, also look good, unmarked and undamaged. Mirrors, lights, all looking good. No problems there. Again, I took a picture of all the closets on my move-in report. The floor right here is uh, showing some wear and tear from age and use, but there's no damage, nothing out of the ordinary, all looks fine. All right, next we're gonna come on over to the master bedroom right here. Again, walls in here uh, look pretty good. Unmarked, undamaged, no problems there. Right over here on this wall, we do have some cable guides present, as you can see. Window right here has screen, blinds, and a curtain rod, all up and working. And walls all look very good, no problems there. Ceiling fan, working and operational. And the floor in here, uh, showing some wear and tear from age and use. We do have some traffic marks present, maybe some light furniture indentations, but nothing out of the ordinary except uh, just some traffic marks, like I said. Right in here is going to be the closet. Again, we do have white wire shelves in here. Please do not overload these. Please, please spread the weight out as best you can and put all the heavy stuff down on the ground. They are all up and working and looking good. These are all looking good. No problems there. Floor in here, definitely showing some wear and tear. You see we've got a stain right there in the middle. No damage, just some general wear and stains. And finally, we're going to come on over to the master bathroom right here. 
So the master bathroom walls in here do have a few marks on them. There's also a few anchor, um, like nails and anchors present on the large wall right here. Lots of nails and stuff, but no damage. Right over here is going to be kind of the toilet area. Again, all looking fine back here. Exhaust fan does work. Towel rod is up and working. Toilet itself looks good. TP holder is up and working. Looking good. No problems there. Right here is going to be the shower. So the shower is uh, definitely showing some wear and tear from age and use. There's some marks here in the bottom. Lots of marks here in the bottom. Again, it will be cleaned, but I don't think a lot of these wear marks are going to come up. So I just wanted to note that down, show you, show you what it looked like. Definitely some wear on the, on the glass, pretty heavy wear on the glass. So just wanted to note that down. Tub right here is looking better. It is unmarked and undamaged, no problems there. All looks good. The uh, window right here has screen blinds, all looking fine. Towel rod right there is up and working. Skylight looks good. Lights, mirror, vanity sink, all looking okay, but the sinks are showing some wear and tear, especially in the basins, just from use, but uh, no problems there, all looking fine. And the floor in here is showing a little bit of wear and tear from age and use, but no damage, nothing out of the ordinary, all looks good there. And the door is missing the door stopper. All right, that'll conclude the move-in walkthrough for a 167 Tilden. Thank you very much.